a 3D laser scanner, so we have a, a rotating mirror um, here in the middle. So we're spraying um, at 360 degrees everywhere, at 270 degrees, we're spraying laser data. So we oh, can wow. just see what that would look like Who? here. <laughs> that is amazing. I think that, that must you be doing Chris. That, yeah, no, that's Chris. Chris, I think. <laughs> oh, we didn't so, find that I recognize one, his signature moves. <laughs> I love it. So um, this te the technology is based on an infrared laser pulse. So as you just saw there, it's firing out at 2 million points a second. And depending on how far away it is, defines my resolution. So if I was to take this, this instrument here, it's line of sight. So I have to remember that because it's infrared, it works on the same principles as, as similar to sonar or uh, radar, but this is LIDAR, so it's, it's light detection and ranging. So this instrument measures two million times a second, the pulse of light backwards and forwards to it, and then that's how we get our 3D. So as this instrument's turning around, it's also taking HDR imagery, which then superimposes onto the laser points. So th those laser points can then be moved around and create um, a scene like this, yeah. I've got lots of occ occlusions, you know, so if I take, for example, if I take the scanner here and I want to scan yeah. my environment, I'm blocked by all of this uh, shelving. I've got, you know, blocking people. So, so us it wouldn't people see me would here, right? It wouldn't no, see it my body here, right? No, exactly. So it never, it doesn't, LIDAR doesn't see around corners or, or through <laughs> other objects as well. So if I want to build a scene, for example, if this is a, a forensic scene, so, you know, forensics and what we saw earlier with the, the crash scene, these instruments are very popular for capturing these. So I've got actionable spatial information that I can use later in the office, but I need a full complete scene. So if I scan here, I could then link the instrument from that point to this point. But the clever thing with this tool is that it's also using a camera system. So that the camera system is using a kind of um, a real-time localization using vi visual. So it's, yeah. it's a visual and aided, uh, sorry, aided inertial system. So it's actually got eyes effectively. So it just watched itself go from there to there. So it could yeah, recalculate yeah. where itself is. So then if I go down here, I've got four scans. I've just made it bigger. Does that reduce post-production? It does. Um, the instrument is recording on, on, a, on a tablet based system. So as I'm moving, the, vi yeah. the visual inertial system here is aiding me having to tell the s system where it is when I'm back in the office. So it's speeding up in, the, in, in, yeah. the, in this instance as well, which is these, this uh, type of sensor makes it more agile, really.